Now, although we think of the fence being one major lightning conductor, the most damaged electric fence actually comes from the 220 volt side. You have a surge, it comes down the plug, into the machine and destroys the energizer. So that one of the best ways to protect your machine is to start off with, with a lightning plug. A surge plug at this point here will reduce a lot of your damage to your fence. Secondly, we have the electric fence. What happens when lightning strikes the fence? It travels down the fence line and into the energizer, causing damage. How do we stop this? Well, what we want to do is stop that lightning bolt getting to the energizer. So what we normally try to do is create, at the fence, a better earth than at the energizer. Lightning always wants to travel in the straightest, easiest path to the ground. As you can see in the JBA V-Type lightning diverter, there's a thicker path from the fence side, then a 120 degree turn and a thinner irregular path on the energizer side. Below the bend is an adjustable spark gap. The straight thicker path offers a more favorable, less resistant route for lightning to take jumping the spark gap en route to the ground. Under normal circumstances, every time the energizer pulses, the power goes through the V and down, through the V and down, through the V and down. The pulse easily makes it round the bend and onto the fence. The difference though, is the bottom of the V is connected to the good earth grid. When lightning strikes, this is 200,000, not 10,000 volts comes flying down here. Lightning likes to travel in straight lines. As it gets to this point here, it's either got to turn 120 degrees and go back up, or it can jump the small spark gap that jumps across here and goes to earth. So the majority of the lightning goes to earth and it dissipates into the ground. And then a small bit of the surge comes back to the energizer. Inside the JVA electric fence energizers, we do have a little bit of lightning protection. So a little bit coming back should be able to be protected by the energizer. If it isn't and it is still damaged, the repair will be small compared to having 200,000 volts going straight into the energizer. We hope you found this video helpful. If you would like more information, please visit our website. And for more videos, you can check out our YouTube channel.